Hello, my name is Mike, and today we're going to review the model 382270 XTEC High Precision Quad Output DC Power Supply. What a mouthful. This model power supply has four outputs, two of which can supply 0 to 30 volts at up to 5 amps, and the other two outputs are kind of odd. They are 0 to actually 3 to 6.5 volts at 3 amps, and 8 to 15 volts at 1 amp. Included with the power supply is an AC cable and four DC cables. The DC cables are spade lug to mini alligator clip. The dimensions of the power supply are 10 inches wide, about uh, 6 inches high, and a little over 11 inches deep. It does have a fan on the back that requires a few extra inches of clearance for cooling, and the right and left have uh, vent holes which require at least an inch for cooling. Okay, let's power this on and take a look at it. First, when I powered it on, I started fiddling with the voltage and current limiting controls, and nothing happened. I was kind of perplexed, and uh, that's when I decided, well, let's just see if it has any output, and I hit the output, and what do you know? Voltage has started showing up, and I could adjust and see the output. This kind of defeats the purpose of having an output on-off switch, I thought, because the outputs are live, and you can adjust the voltages, or the outputs are dead, and you cannot adjust it. The next thing I noticed was that the indicators for the channel 1 and 2 and 2 and, and 3 and 4 are vertical in the center between the voltage and the current displays. So as you switch between 1 and 2, or 2 and 3 for your display, it uh, puts a little LED up or down that's in the center. It's not really uh, intuitive. Uh, you kind of have to look closely to see which uh, output you're monitoring. Now I've got the power supply on for you to listen to the fan. The uh, fan is supposedly thermostatically controlled, but as you can hear, the fan is either all on or all off. When you first start it up, it's off, and with just the slightest amount of load, it kicks on. And Now you notice that uh, to achieve 3 amps of uh, current output, one side has to push 15.2 volts and the other side pushes 11.5 volts. I'm not sure uh, what this means. It seems to me like the internal impedance is uh, quite a bit different between the two channels. Um, so far I was not real impressed by this supply, but I have to say for the price it does provide some punch with the amount of power it can put out, and the uh, four outputs are, are nice. Um, Let's go ahead and open it up and we'll take a look inside and see how it's built. As I take it apart, the uh, case is pretty easy to get open, and uh, there's no hidden screws, no security tabs that you gotta break. Um, looks like it should be pretty easy to service. Let's have a look inside. Got a nice beefy transformer in it, and the wiring looks Perfect. very clean and neat. Uh, the heat sinks are aligned like a, they got like a tunnel effect. They pull the air through the heat sinks. But uh, the first thing that I see that's kind of disturbing is that the potentiometers are mounted to the PC board, and the PC board is mounted to the front here, which means that the potentiometers are actually being held only by the PC board. That's a definite problem. When I received my unit, the uh, transformer was actually kind of flopping around. The screws on all four corners of the transformer were not tight, so I had to open it up and tighten it down to, before I uh, even fired it up. 
which was a little bit uh, concerning. And notice that the uh, there is enough thermal trans or thermal compound between the transistors and the uh, large heat sink. Um, like I said, all the wiring looks pretty good, uh, but I just really don't like the way those tra those uh, potentiometers are mounted on that front board. And here we take a look at the knobs. Now, like I said, I didn't like the way they were mounted. It's a plastic shaft, and it looks like they're using the fact that the knob actually rubs against the front panel to keep it from flexing the PC board too much, but there still is some up and down wiggle room, and over time, that just uh, usually does not hold up very well. Usually you want a panel-mounted potentiometer on a device like this. Okay, so here we've set up a load. We're going to test the uh, power on overshoot, undershoot, or see, see how the power on phase works on this, on this supply. So I set the sweep up for rising edge and power the power supply on. We're drawing about 5.3 amps. And as you can see, it doesn't have any overshoot. Well, maybe just a little bit. Power on cycle looks pretty good. Uh, it's actually one of the better ones I've seen. Um, so that's kind of surprising considering the quality of everything else so far. <laughs> so let's take a look at the power off, see what that's got. We'll set the falling edge, and we'll go ahead and uh, turn the power supply off and take a look at that signal. Now, I've done this several times, and this has been very repeatable. And it's a real clean power off, so I'm pretty pleased with that. That uh, actually quite quite uh, performs quite well for this. So to recap, um, this X-Tech model 382270 high precision quad output power supply does have four outputs. They are adjustable. Um, yeah, pretty moderate current output too. Great for any hobbyist needs. But uh, the panel mounted, um, I should say the lack of panel mounted potentiometers, they're mounted right to the board, uh, tends to cause problems in, in uh, environments where it's used on a regular basis. Uh, the the on-off switch for the output is just just baffles me why you'd want to be able to turn off the output and not be able to see what you're adjusting. I would think that it would just turn the output off, not the output and the meters. Well, not to bash this product, but it did not meet my needs, so it's uh, going back, and uh, I've picked up a Instec model SPD-3606, and I'll uh, run a review on that next. Thank you for watching this review. We'll see you later.